Hello, yes, good morning, namaste, how are you? Good. In new, you are all studying in the university and this is an university postgraduate course. So you have to know how different universities in India offer different dance forms and today we shall study what are the different universities, what are the different courses in Kathak that they offer. Uh, in context of the education in music and dance, the golden history of India bears testimony to how this great tradition has over the span of umpteen centuries remained relevant and valid despite numerous changes and developments how it has evolved over time to establish itself in the list of the art forms that are accessible to all. If we talk about the ancient arrangements of imparting knowledge and education in dance, then like music, dance too was taught at the Gurukuls, Rajmals and by the kings in the designated dance schools. And the very best dance masters used to be employed to impart this education. But this was perhaps not education in the sense of education that we look, but it was as we as an art which will help development of concentration, learning of music and dance by the kings, be it in France or be it Vajid Ali Shah in India, was to appreciate art, to appreciate life and enjoy life. The kings were not going to be performing artists, they were the monarchs. But they loved the beauty of the dance, the lyricism of the poetry and the grace. It enhanced the quality of the court life. And there were the professional, employed Devadasis, the Nach girls. They all danced in the temples, in the courts. But the idea was to provide a unique, wholesome entertainment to the god, to the king and later on to people at large. Only after Indian independence and I think early 1930s that the idea of having this beautiful art form be accessible to all people because other than entertainment it has so many things to offer to a human life that came in and that's where the first university in India which had the progressive king, the Maharaja Sayajira of Gaikwad III, inculcated these arts of music, dance, theatre as part of its regular educational curriculum and created degree courses in way back in 1949 in the areas of dance. So as the time progressed gradually, the monarchies dissolved and with the arrival of Europeans, foundation for modern educational techniques were laid, including modern dance schools and high schools. Modern dance schools and high schools do not mean the American or the Western modern dance. Here it means the schools of dance and teaching of dance. In this way, after considerable development in the post-independence era, the art of dance was highly promoted and in the Indian society. Prior to this, 
due to the tireless efforts of Pandit Vishnu Digambar Paluskar, Pandit Vishnu Narayan Bhatkhandi, Ustad Maula Baksh, the foundation of schools for dance and music had already been laid. In the present times, the secondary education boards or different states have not only included dance in their curriculum, but many universities have also incorporated dance in their portfolio offerings, in which hundreds of students are obtaining admission and getting educated in dance. In the present times, many universities are not only offering graduate and postgraduate level degrees in dance, but are also offering students an opportunity to pursue research in dance and offer doctorate degrees. If we talk about Kathak, then in the last 50 years, there have been many revolutionary changes in the field of imparting education of Kathak dance. This North Indian dance is not only being taught by a defined curriculum in nationally recognized university, but also in other universities across different states of the country and outside. Now that uh, we are looking into the education and higher education in India of Kathak, so let's discuss about universities which impart education of Kathak along with other branches of Indian music, dance, theatre. Uh, so, um, we will go through a few of them. Bhatkhande Sangeet Samstha Sam Vishwa Vidyalaya Lucknow. In year 1926, music with the help of Rasik Rai, Umanath Bali, Rai Rajeshwar Bali and other experts, Pandit Vishnu Bhatkhande laid the foundation for a music institution which was inaugurated by the then governor Sir William Morris and it was taken by the government on 26 March 1966 under its fold by the Indian government and it was named the Bhatakhande Hindustani Sangeet Mahavidyalay. On the recommendation of the state government on 24th October 2000, the Indian Union government declared it as the deemed university. The Bhatkhande Sangeet Sanstha is registered as an autonomous society under the Society's Registration Act 1860. It then began offering the courses BPA, MPA and PhD level in classical music from the academic session 2001-2002. Following the guidelines and directions of the UGC. The academic sessions at Bhatkhande Institute are from July 1st to 30th June each year. The Bhatkhande Dimmed University offers courses in Kathak, Bharatanatyam, Manipuri, and folk dances under its dance faculty. Uh, the four year course of BPA that is the Bachelor in Performing Arts. Uh, it is three year, one must obtain a minimum percentage grade from the Uttar Pradesh Education Board in related subjects at an intermediate or equivalent level and should have cleared the entrance test or similar examination from institution recognized by Bhatkande Institution. For the eligibility of two year MA course, one should have cleared and obtained a BMUSE or B BPA degree from Bhatkande Institute or any other recognized university or have a degree in Kathak dance or any degree from any recognized university along with clearing the Kathak examination held by the institute or any other recognized and accepted examination. In order to be eligible for a PhD program, uh, which is minimum two years in duration, one needs to have cleared the M Music or MP or MA or equivalent examination with 
minimum 55% marks or have any master's degree from any recognized university with minimum 55% marks along with clearing the relevant examinations in related subjects or clear the PhD entrance examination organized by the institute. The institute offers lessons in experimentation as well as classical literature in an organized manner. Also, there keep happening various workshops, subject matter discussions and inter-college competitions related to Kathak. This gives the student of Kathak an opportunity to present their talent and skills on the stage in front of an audience. Along with all these activities every year, three day long celebrations on Bhatakhande University are organized in which top artists from not only the Kathak but also from other fields of music and dance are invited. Kashi Hindu Vishwavidyalaya or Banaras Hindu Vishwavidyalaya, short form BHU, was established in 1915 as a result of the untiring efforts of Pandit Madan Mohan Vanlavya and it began offering courses in music in the year 1950 with the enthusiastic assistance and encouragement of Mahamana Pandit Bhatkhandi. In the beginning, this institution was named Sri Kala Sangeet Bharti. In 1956, Diploma and B Music was offered in principal subjects of vocal and instrumental music. In the same year, the position of a reader was created in order to carry out research and Dr. Premalata Sharma was appointed in 57. The Natwari Dance Department was established under the Kathak Dance and the Dance Department was brought under the fold of Music and Stage Art Department. In order to maintain the quality of education, only limited seats were allowed and the students were required to create qualifying entrance exam. This university also offers a three-year diploma program for beginners in order to be eligible for this one has to have at least cleared junior high school or equivalent. Only after clearing this diploma or its equivalent can one apply for a three year bachelor's degree program after clearing which one can apply for two years master's degree program. Both the master's and the bachelor's degree programs follow semester system. In order to be eligible for the master's program one needs to have a BA or BMuse from the university or a diploma in Kathak dance from any other recognized university. This is also an arrangement for a two-year MPhil and PhD. If we talk of the syllabus then it has an apt combination of practical as well as theory lessons which not only give the student ample opportunities to present their learning on the stage but also provide suitable help and study material for further education like PhD and NAT exams. Apart from this, there is also the facility of an extraordinary library in which numerous essential books on Kathak in Hindi and English are available. As part of the UGC guidelines, scholarships are also offered for students for MPhil, PhD, various workshops, programs, seminars, stage presentations, dance performances are organized on grand scale in the Pandit Umkarnath Thakur meeting hall. Indira Kala Sangeet Vishwavidyalaya Khairagar, that is IKSVV. This university was established in 1956 and it was inaugurated by the then Prime Minister of India, Mrs. Indira Gandhi. Pandit Sri Krishna Ratma Jankar were appointed as the first Vice Chancellor in 1957, keeping in mind the difficulties of Revising the syllabus for bachelor's and master's. In 1971 onwards, the syllabus has been divided into three parts. The first part covers the Madhyama with and COVID syllabus. The second part covers the B music over and about the Madhyama, which is a two year course, while the M music in Kathak dance forms the third part. In order to be eligible to B music, one has to have passed Madhyama level and the intermediate examination in the commerce and art stream. 
This stream of B music and M music is useful for those students who are pursuing a commerce stream education and yet would like to have a degree in music. The third stream is popular as the stream of BA honors and MA. Under this, students have cleared the higher secondary and Madhyama level in music are given admission. Under three year BA honors, dance is taken as a primary or the honor subject, while subjects like cultural history, philosophy, sociology, and languages are Sanskrit, Hindi, or English that relate to music can be taken as secondary and other subjects. Apart from the above programs, PhD in Kathak dance also began to be offered by the university in 1981-82 for which the entrance examination began being conducted by the university itself. Apart from that, students have been cleared the NAT or JRF exam were also considered for PhD program. The Vice Chancellor of Kheragad University, the present Vice Chancellor, Dr. Manvi Singh herself is a world-renowned Kathak dancer of the Jaipur Gharana and she is also the head of the department of the Kathak dance department. There is appropriate arrangement for imparting both practical and theory education for which there are well-qualified professors, musicians and a vast library. There is also a dance laboratory and seminars and workshops organized all through the year. Rabindra Bharti Vishwavidyalay, Kolkata. With an aim to impart education in Rabindra literature, music, arts and other subjects of the humanities, a stream as also to encourage the complete development of creativity in the students. The Ravindra Bharti Vishwavidyalay was established in the paternal home of Gurudev Rabindranath Tagore, Jora Sanko, in May 1960, by the then Chief Minister of West Bengal, Dr. Vidhan Chandra Rai. The West Bengal government had begun an academy of music, dance and drama in the academic section of 56 in Jorasanko and later on after acquiring the entire area of Jorasanko, this very academy was turned into the Ravindra Bharti University RBU. This was done on the occasion of the 101st birth anniversary of the Guru and there is an excellent arrangement here to study the arts which BA honors and MA degree programs are now being offered. At present, the Ravindra Bharti Vishwavidyalay has its own campus and has shifted from Jora Sanko. The Kathak degree stream falls under the dance department of the university in which there is an arrangement to pursue BA in three years and MA with semester of two years semester system a two-year MPhil program following the semester system is also offered. Apart from that, there is a provision for PhD in Kathak. University library here provides innumerable books, journals and related to the subjects. Banasthali Vidyapit. The Banasthali Vidyapit is located in the Tonk district of the Rajasthan. It is recognized as the deemed university and is only for women. It was established by Pandit Hiralal Shastri and Mrs. Ratan Shastri in the year 1935 as the residential university for women. At that time it was named Shantabai Siksha Kutir and, it is, and its aim was to be a spiritual legacy to bring about all-around personality development through imparting of a mixture of indigenous and western theories, science and philosophies. For this, a five-point education program was formulated in which a student's aesthetic, intellectual, moral, physical and behavioral growth is aimed at. In October 1983, it was declared as a deemed university by the government of India. This university has two academic sessions in a year. Under the diploma program, Banasthali and Vyapit has Uttama and expert level course syllabus. In order to be eligible for three-year Uttama course, one should have completed a three-year certificate course and a two-year Uttama requires clearing the Uttama from equi uh, Banasali or equivalent exam. 
राजा मानसिंह तोमर संगीत एंड कला विश्वविद्यालय ग्वालियर मध्य प्रदेश द राजा मानसिंह तोमर म्यूजिक एंड आर्ट यूनिवर्सिटी इज लोकेटेड इन मध्य प्रदेश ग्वालियर द एम ऑफ दिस यूनिवर्सिटी इज टू इम्पार्ट एजुकेशन एंड स्प्रेड नॉलेज ऑफ म्यूजिक एंड आर्ट एंड डिटर्मिन इट्स रोल इन नेशनल डेवलपमेंट दिस यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफर्स मल्टीपल प्रोग्राम्स इन कथक डांस लाइक द वन ईयर कोर्स ऑफ डी डांस For this, the minimum eligibility requirement is to have cleared intermediate exam, a training confirmation certificate, or clearing a diploma from the university itself is mandatory. Beside this, the BA honors three-year course, minimum eligibility requirement of B dance. This is similar to the course of BA dance, which is also similar three-year course, whose minimum eligibility requirement is also B dance. The university also offers MA and PhD in dance. The Faculty of Performing Arts at the Maharaja Sayaji Rao University of Baroda. The Faculty of Performing Arts was established in 1886 by Ustad Maula Baksh and was known as the Gayan Shala. In 1949, when the MS University got established. the first it was the first university which offered the courses of music dance and theater since its inception in 1949 it was at that point termed called college of indian music dance and dramatics it was the generosity and the deep understanding and knowledge of the maharaja sayaji rao gaikwad that arts are as much part of the growth of any human being and arts education is must for all human beings and all citizens of this country which made maharaja sayaji rao gaikwad start the first department and the school of music dance and dramatics the de- development of the dance and dramatics department along with music departments gave this educational program a new face and is now known as the faculty of performing arts here the courses are keeping the tradition of guru shishya parampara modern educational methods are inculcated into the traditional courses of music dance and theater earlier offered b muse and amuse four years course is now the bachelor of performing arts and master of performing arts a three year and two year program with the similar eligibility criteria of hsc passing and there is a four year diploma course in all branches of learning which allow not only the young children but the housewives the job per- workers and everyone to appreciate and learn these art forms just like the other universities and the minimum eligibility requirement is also to pass the exams corresponding to music and other examinations the curriculum is updated every 5 years and it follows a semester system Besides this the university also offers the facility of intense research work in Kathak both the graduate and post graduate courses include theoretical and practical approach a number of students have completed phd in the department including professor sunil kothari professor parul shah the net clearance of high and till today the department remains one of the top in terms of research teaching performances it has extensive library and audio video resources savitri bai phule vishwavidyalaya pune the music and dance department of pune university was established in 1987 here both music and dance education are imparted in the gurukul system for the ba in kathak one has to clear the written entrance examination followed by a practical exam in which the examinee has to display his kathak skills as well as uh, some items and also required to have knowledge of rhythm and tempo the student must arrange for his fellow performers themselves for the examination 
The two year MA course follows the Gurukul system and demands complete attendance of the student all around. The university has consortium named the Center for Performing Arts. A special feature of this university is that the strong teacher-student relationship helps the students to become a wonderful artist. The university also offers a PhD in Kathak. The academic session grows from July to November uh, and from December to April. It is an autonomous institution and is not dependent on UGC. Along with imparting education on dance, the institution invites dignitaries and artists for various workshops and discussions to help the students learn from their experience. Apart from this, there is Bharati Vidyapit, Sam Vishwa Vidyalaya, which is also an autonomous institution offering a three-year BA, two-year MA and a PhD. This university uses the Gurukul system and renowned artists from the various fields give their contribution, including Shama Bhate, Manisha Sathe and so. The Tilak Maharashtra Vidyapit in Pune offers higher education in the field of dance, especially Kathak. The university offers BA, MA and PhD in dance. No, only BA and MA. Punjab Vishwavidyalay Patiala. The dance department of Punjab Vishwavidyalay was established in June 2000 with the main aim of spreading the ancestral knowledge of our exuberant classical dances and to educate the masses. The credit of establishing the dance department in this university goes to Dr. D. G. Valia. This department has been recognized by the UGC. The university offers MA in Kathak, BA honors in Kathak from 2006, MPhil from September 2010 and PhD from year 2000 are offered by the university. MPhil is one year course and mm, the student has to clear the entrance examination taken by the university. Guru Nanak Dev Vishwavidyalay Amritsar, Punjab. The university was established on 24th November 1969 in the 500th century of Guru Nanak Dev. The university offers only a postgraduate course in MA, Kathak, which is of two years. And in order to be eligible for this, it is essential for a student to have a bachelor's degree in Kathak from any recognized university. This course gives opportunity for stage performances as well as theatrical studies and theoretical studies. Apart from the so many universities that we have looked in, professional universities like MIT University, Rajasthan campus as well as lovely professional university in Jalandhar, Punjab also offers courses in Kathak. The benefit of teaching Kathak dance at the university level is that it gets popularized and spread amongst the masses. As in earlier times, Kathak was done only performed in gharanas by artists belonging to the gharanas. The untrue became true and today Kathak is not only offered in bachelor's and master's degree programs but is also provisioned for research in dance, which has improved and enriched Kathak even more. Moreover, students get to learn not only the practical aspects of Kathak, but also theoretical aspects of dance as well as, while understanding the seriousness, sincerity of the dance and its elements and its rules, the students can obtain numerous academic books relating to the syllabi in the libraries at the universities, in English as well as in Hindi and also in vernacular languages easily, which help enrich their knowledge about the different aspects of Kathak through the times. Also, they are able to take due advantage of the scholarship programs offered by the government. It also helps students understand the importance and the role of not only the performer but also of the composer, accompanist, theory teacher and so on due to which they can give their contribution through their creativity in these aspects as well. 
Apart from this, we know no education technique is without its flaws. But there are no problems and limitations to which a solution can be found. Similarly, there are flaws in imparting Kathak education at the university level as well. Like problems related to admission, lack of time, education of different gharanas, uniformity of syllabus, semester system, balance of theory and practical techniques of education and modernization of university from a point of view of dance education, appropriate arrangement of musicians and so. However, from the point of view of the best arrangement of the dance education techniques, it is the responsibility of every dancer, every teacher, every student, every artist and every critic that they remain striving to solve these limitations of dance education. The aim of education is to bring about all round development in us. Higher education helps us move closer to the completeness. It helps us to understand the areas of our interest in greater depth. Thus, it is essential that higher education be modernized and updated with time. Updating higher education helps incorporate latest incidents and situations in it as well as make it more appropriate. Not only Kathak, but experts and intellectuals from the fields of all classical dances to help make the syllabus uniform and update it regularly while also respecting the roles and suggestions of teachers and students with which we can add in new ideas while still respecting the limits. There is a different importance of creativity in dance which is essential for the quality of dance. It is not good to be bereft of new ideas and theory in the race of modernity if we want to survive. In the same way, one cannot identify contemporary in traditionalism. Enthusiastic interest towards new areas maintain the validity and dignity of the university. Along with this, effort should be made that universities should impart Kathak education not only to educate students but also to be socially useful while also combine it with interdisciplinary subjects to make it more professional and vocational. This is like there is always this dichotomy of Guru Sishya Parampara versus university. But to me and to all the teachers, it feels that one complements the other. One is the Shakti and Purush and Prakriti or Shiva and Shakti. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.